Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing one of the most famous Indian poems, After Blenheim, is an anti-war poem that highlights the irony in the common man's idea of war and war heroes. It was written by Robert Saudi, a famous English poet, in 1796. The poem is based on the Battle of Blenheim, which was fought in 1704 during the War of the Spanish Succession. The poem begins by picturizing a vivid scene of a summer evening. It is the time when most people return from work. An elderly farmer named Caspar sits in front of his cottage watching his grandchildren Wilhelmine and Peterkin at play on the lush green field. As Wilhelmine was playing, she saw her brother Peterkin rolling something, large, smooth and round, which he had found beside the river. Out of curiosity, Peterkin takes that, something, to his grandfather, wanting to know about it. Elderly Caspar took that round thing from the boy, who was left in anticipation. After a brief look at it, the old man shook his head with a sigh and found it to be a skull of some, poor fellow, which refers to a soldier who had died in the war, in the Battle of Blenheim, in the Great Victory. The Battle of Blenheim led to the death of thousands of soldiers whose corpses lie deep scattered in the field. Further, Caspar relates how he had found many such objects while plowing the fields. The Great Victory refers to the triumph in the battle which also happens to be an example of sheer patriotism. Caspar believed that the soldiers sacrificed their life for the country and did not die in vain. Their death served the purpose of victory in the battle. Hearing about the battle, the children were restless to know more about it. For them, the battle seemed to bring thrill and excitement along with certain amazement. Little Wilhelmine was so curious to know about the war and the reason behind it that it reflected in her eyes gleaming for a wonder to unfold. The poet reflects upon the zeal and enthusiasm associated with young age. The ability to question things is a peculiar quality of kids which fades away with growing age. Caspar tries to answer the questions posed by his grandchildren by telling them that the British defeated the Franco-Bavarian army in the Battle of Blenheim. The interesting point to note here is, he doesn't know the reason behind the war. In fact, he doesn't try to find it. He remembers what everybody told him, the victory was famous, and he repeated it to himself time and again and put some belief in the words. At this juncture of the poem, after Blenheim, Caspar recollects from the past, some of the scenarios of the war. He begins by remembering his father who lived in a small village of Blenheim near a river. The French wreaked havoc in the village and burned homes of several innocent people to the ground. Consequently, the villagers were forced to flee their homes and wander in search of shelter. Caspar's father was also one of them. The poem ends with Wilhelmine and Peterkin finding war a wicked thing and questioning Caspar why he calls it a great victory. Caspar has no reply to their question but he still believes that it was a great victory. The poet here highlights the irony in the common man's idea of war and war heroes. The poem suggests that the idea of a great victory is a misleading term used by people who do not know the actual consequences of war. The common people, who are not directly involved in the war, glorify it and consider it a noble cause without understanding the actual horrors of it. The poem, after Blenheim, portrays war as a senseless and brutal act that causes innocent people to suffer and die, leaving behind devastation and destruction. The poem is a critique of the blind patriotism that leads people to justify wars without considering the human cost. Saudi's use of the character Caspar, a simple farmer, as the narrator emphasizes that war affects everyone, even those who are not directly involved in it. The children's reaction to the story shows that war is not something to be glorified or celebrated, but rather a tragic event that should be avoided at all costs. Overall, After Blenheim, is a powerful anti-war poem that exposes the futility and tragedy of war and questions the notion of heroism in such conflicts.